here tonight. I'm doing a little magic at Magic 30. Should we go to see a little magic tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is what it feels like to play against the goblins here. So you're minding your own business while the sun you go across. Oh, Whoa. Oh yeah, it's a little one one. That's nothing there. We'll go ahead and get that killed. But of course they're goblins as soon as they disappear. Next turn there's two of these motherfuckers. Because that's just how okay, goblins work. But we're gonna do a little magic here. Watch very carefully. Hold out your hand to me flat like a table. Watch very carefully. We'll go ahead and I'll hold on to this little bad boy over here. I'm gonna get it and deal with one goblin right this way. Go ahead and squeeze onto it tight. Now you feel that in your hand, right? I can't take that out of your hand without you knowing, correct? Watch this. We go one, two, three. You think you were just dealing with one goblin attacking you, but mine actually uh, was able to go right around and uh, go two, two points right directly to you because they're fucking goblins. Here, we'll do this again. I'm going to keep on doing this until you all hate me. Hold out your hand flat like a table. My red ball into my hand here. This little bad boy goes into here. So we're on turn three just like that. You think you're still yet again dealing with one goblin because you did a, a direct removal, but just like before, the first one's gone. One, two, three. And now there's three of these little guys because because they're fucking goblins. Well, let's go for the gusto. The problem is, is when you get into turn four and the combos start happening. We got one over here, one, two goblins no, are going directly to you. Squeeze on really tight, 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 just like that. Watch very carefully. Oh, don't worry. It's a floor show. We'll get rid of that one goblin right here. But we go one, two, three, just like that. I give it a shake and disappear. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, <laughs> and then it goes directly into you because they're uh, all right, folks, so we're going to do a little bit more magic here for your entertainment. Thank you for yeah. the round of indifference there. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. We're going to do a little bit more magic for your entertainment, amazement, and enjoyment. I'm going to do a little card magic for you, lovely folks. Now, I normally don't do a lot of card magic because I think it's rude to walk up to a bunch of strangers and just whip out your deck. Uh, but we're going to be doing a lot of that. Not this week. Want to do it to you. Yeah, right. that's, that's normal. You're my type of person. And we're in Vegas. Hold on. And we're in Vegas. And we're in Vegas. You know, public exposure is public exposure. Exposure wherever you go. We're gonna do a little bit of card magic here for you, lovely folks. Uh, I normally am like, who knows how to shuffle? <laughs> magic. So, uh, if you don't know how to shuffle, you're in the problem. Yeah. Try to give it a little shuffle every day. Shuffle again. Oh, look at the fancy magic shuffle. Are you actually a magician in your own right or no? You are a magician. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. In that case, you're going to be doing the magic tonight. I'm not actually going to be doing anything here. He's just going to get paid while you do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we're going to do a little bit of magic involving half the cards, half for you, half for me. Um, Close enough for government work. So whichever pack you choose is the one you get to work with, which one you want. And hold it face down, uh, just like this. And you're going to do everything that I do, right? So spread through the cards just like I am here until you find any spot in the center where you're happy and divide it in half right here wherever you want. We'll square up the cards so we don't actually have to anything. Cards in your left hand. Perfect. Use your thumb to push your cards. Take that card out towards me just like that. And the rest of you can just like that. Perfectly done, sir. Perfectly done. But let's go over what's your best. You chose this card, right? You chose which pack you wanted, right? You stopped where you wanted to stop, right? You put that card face out. I've never touched your card, did I? I've touched them before. Like, yeah, I mean, after you, like, after you. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to match my card to your card. Now, we already match pretty well here. We both chose sixes, which is one in 13. But they're not the same color, so it's not a perfect match. A perfect match is if there's the same number and the same color, right? So the six of spades matches the six of clubs. The ace of hearts matches the eight of diamonds. The card that I stopped at here is the three of clubs, which is the perfect card match. And that's why they don't let me compete here. <laughs> All right, here, we're going to do a little bit more magic. Thank you, thank you. We'll do one more piece here since we're here in Vegas doing a little bit of gambling magic as well. Uh, three card Monte. Three card Monte. Have any of you guys ever heard of the three card Monte before? Yeah. All right, a couple of yeah, The magician, of course. Yeah, why am I not the magician? And then the second person over here. All right, three card Monte. Three card Monte. Three card Monte is a little bit of a card game. It's a little bit of a gambling game, and it is quite 
a bit of a con game. This is a con game, ladies and gentlemen. So don't play it in the real world unless you want to lose a lot, a lot of money, because that's the only thing that is going to happen here. It's a Gower game that involves three cards, as the name of the game suggests, two cards which are exactly the same. So in a normal deck of cards, what the cards are exactly the same. Ah, uh, Professor, you guys can work with this. Hold out your hand for me to serve like a table. We have ourselves the two jokers here, Joker number one. We have ourselves over here, Joker number two. And the third card, the wild card, the money card, the Ace of Diamonds. Now what you do, you keep your eye on the Ace of Diamonds, you would bet a dollar each time, or five dollars, whatever you bet. If you can find the Ace, you win it as well. So if you bet ten, you win ten. If you bet twenty, you win twenty. However, if you flip over one of the two jokers, the dealer keeps your money. And this is a con game, folks. You will never find that Ace unless the dealer wants you to. So the first time I came across this, I was looking in New York City, true story, just like this. The dealer took the ace, placed it on top of the pack just like that, and asked me where the ace was. Right, that's exactly what I said. He said, ah, put your money where your mouth is. So I threw it on five bucks, and I said the ace was on the top. He said, I'm sorry, son, that's the joker. Taking that joker and placing it on the bottom of the pack here, I now knew that one of the top two cards had to be the ace. So thinking I had a 50-50 shot on a 50-50 bet, I said the top card was the ace. He said, I'm sorry, son, that's the other joker. But not knowing that there's a joker on top and a joker on the bottom, the only place where the ace could be is in the middle. So before he shuffled the cards, I threw down five bucks and I said the ace was in the middle. He said, I'm sorry, son, uh, that's a joker as well. I said, wait a second, you just showed me three different jokers there. You're trying to trick me out of my money. He said, you don't understand the point of this game. <laughs> but we'll make things a little easier on you. The ace is currently on the bottom of the pack. All that you need to do, all that you need to do is keep your eye on one of the two jokers. That's fair enough. A two out of three chance, the odds are in your favor of what you're just guessing. Well, we have the ace being the card on the bottom of the pack. I now knew that the top two cards were the two jokers. So thinking him a fool, I said the top card was the joker, gave me a chance to win my money back. He said, I'm sorry, son, that's an ace. I said, wait, if there's an ace on the top and an ace on the bottom, the joker had to be in the middle. So in a fluster, I said the middle card was a joker. He said, I'm sorry, son, that's the ace. I said, wait! First you show me three jokers, now you show me three aces. You're not even shuffling anymore. You have to have trick cards there. He's like, no, sir, look, one, two, three. He said, listen, I see you're having trouble with this. And I'm not a complete person. So I'll give you a chance to win back your money, all your money. Double or nothing, of course. <laughs> Hold out your hand for me one more time. The top card of the pack is a joker. The second card is an ace. All that you need to do is name that third card and you win back all your money. So all that you need to do is name that third card and you win back all your money. But if you can't, you owe me double, which was lost, which would be about a hundred dollars. So what's the name of the third card, Ace or Joker? What do you say? Ace. Oh, he's going tricky on me. Hell yeah. He says Ace. You say they have me surrounded. But that is why you never play the three cards. Oh, you are so close. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I'm going to continue on and do a little more.